Hi everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to create this paper cutout effect in Adobe Photoshop. First, create a new document of these dimensions. Go to the file menu and click on place embedded, then select your image and place it. Link to this image mentioned in the description. Go to select menu and subject. Here I need to edit the selection, I am using the quick selection tool for it, you can use any selection tool. Go to layer menu, new then layer via copy, or press ctrl plus j. Right click on this layer and choose select pixels. Go to select menu again, click on modify, and expand. Select the image layer, right click on it, and choose rasterize layer. Go to the edit menu and click on fill. Use these settings and hit OK. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection lines. Now we have separate image and background. Press Ctrl plus T and extend this background. Now select the patch tool and follow me. Show the image. Select the background, go to pen tool. Follow my settings for pen tool. And apply it like this. You can adjust the points with the help of the direct selection tool. Go to the file menu and place the paper effect background. Link to this background image mentioned in the description. Adjust its size. and change its blend mode to multiply. Select the paper effect layer and press Ctrl plus J to create a copy of it. And change its blend mode to normal. Drag this up to the shape layer. Right click onto and choose create clipping mask. Select the shape layer, right click on it to open the blending options. And apply a drop shadow effect to it Follow my shadow settings. Select the paper background, press Ctrl plus J for a copy of it. Drag this up to the image layer. Right click on to create a clipping mask. And change its blend mode to multiply. Go to Image Menu, Adjustment, and Levels. Follow my level settings. You can play around as per your image. Now I have these vector tapes, linked to these tapes mentioned in the description. I am using this tape effect for my design. Copy it from Illustrator with the command of Ctrl plus C. And paste in Photoshop with Ctrl plus V. Bring it top in the layers. Open the levels to make it brighter. Open the blending option to add the shadow to it. Bring its opacity down to around 60%. Adjust its size and place it.
hold the Alt button to create a copy of it and place it in different positions. Play with the shadow settings. And that's it. Share your thoughts on this. If there is any question, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.